creation of para in this one. It has to be actually strengthened now. Now, we have to define a, a, a curriculum. As part of the APP <coughs> project, we did something called as the Farmer Water School. What you do is, you just don't do take them to a class for one day or a few days. You work with them for an entire hydrological cycle. And over a period of time, people have to qualify. And then they become the volunteers. Then they have to actually conduct some work in the field for next five years. After which, they become a para. So, so I think it will be good if we can really think what what should be the capacities of because you can have these uh, volunteers coming up from nowhere if there is an opportunity to make money. So we should also see that it is well defined, well structured and the people who are going to be part of that have a commitment. You know, with the manner of treating the whole question of demystification of science. And to me, I think this discussion really brings us down to an issue of how do we match tools to solutions? Because we might have a set, we might have a menu of solutions which could range from anywhere between you know the whole energy fix to the question of awareness building, education, training. It's a it's a sort of very large spectrum. Now I think to me the, the larger question is how do we bring a almost a menu of tools that can match the solutions? And I think that could be one, you know, from this discussion to me, that could be a broad area in which, uh, you know, the sort of the, the funding agencies, even Argyam, could look at for maybe embedding research, maybe embedding the program itself, could have one aspect which is about matching tools to solutions. So I think, I think the sort of consensus here is about there's no fixed solution. Or there could be a there could be a, a sort of a broad sweep, and there could be other very specific solutions. And I think what you would still need is a set of tools to go ahead and doing that. I mean, to me, for example, if we take the, the whole energy thing, and if we were to, you know, look at energy as an instrument of groundwater or management in those four categories, then how does one go about a socio-political change in bringing about that energy fix? would be different in, in those four categories. And therefore, the sort of tools that one involves, whether you could call them advocacy tools, would be different. And what are those advocacy tools? Is something, is, is, is almost a research question that comes to mind. 